All right, everybody, this is a video to uh, repair video for the Rock Pals 500 watt power station. It's been a pretty good unit. I've been going off road overlanding for over a year now. Uh, it's been a pretty solid unit. Uh, the problem that I'm experiencing is that um, when you hit the AC, you actually look right here, the AC uh, will not work and uh, it starts blinking. You see that? It's blinking. So uh, I know it's not a warranty claim. It's pretty old at this point. I figured it uh, probably can be repaired by Rock Pals. They've given me good support in the past. Um, but before I send it in, I wanted to take a look. It's interesting when I have it in the truck, um, I actually have it on its side like that. It just works better for the plugs because this plug is facing my fridge here and when I have it flipped the plug is straight up which is better but I actually think that might have been, been, been the problem so what I did was I loosened these four hex key, keys here hex screws and you take the top off and I noticed that there was something rattling around and when I looked around inside the unit I see this uh, coil inductor here just loose this is pretty heavy this is probably a pound and you'll see it soldered to the board right there when if the battery box is in the normal position like it is on the bench, no problem. Um, however, if you're in rough off-road or if you put the, put the unit on its side like I do, now you have all this weight cantilevered and you'll see if you look at the bottom of this inductor, you'll see it's just two simple, simple, simple wires that are soldered to the board right there. It's actually kind of a, it's actually a really weak design. So... What I'm going to do, and I suspect this will probably fix my problem, is I'm going to end up soldering leads, and I'll show that. I'll solder leads to the inductor, the coil inductor, to the board, so it takes stress completely off the board. And um, these, this is this wire here, this wound wire is insulative, so it's not, it's not conductive. You don't want this to short. Um, so if I touch it to the heatsink. It should be okay, however, with vibration it will wear through, which is not good. So my plan is to wire tie it to this harness here, something like that to keep it from rubbing anything hard. Maybe I'll put, uh, maybe I'll put a plastic wrap around it. Anyway, I'm, that's my strategy. I'm gonna do this and, uh, and then I'll start the video once I show you what I've done to see if I could fix this problem. Otherwise, it's gonna go back to uh, Okay, everyone, so basically uh, I soldered the inductor to the board. You can kind of see it. it's not the prettiest solder job, but it should hold pretty well. Um, and the AC circuit is not blinking. It was outputting some, some wattage, so I think that was the problem here. So you'll see that the AC on. No blinks. And... Uh, device I have is a low wattage device but uh, I don't expect it to be a problem we see about 8 watts so um, so yeah so my plan now is to just um, rubber tape this and uh, secure it down it's pretty heavy bouncing around in there so I think it was a fix all right so here you go I took some RTV after soldering and just kind of covered all the exposed metal so there'd be no shorting I um, used a mount, it was from my F-150, the rear window on a, on a extended cab. That's what you see there, it's like a plastic, um, both on both sides, a plastic uh, automotive spacer, and that way I, I zip-tied that spacer to this heat sink here, which is pretty stable. And uh, right now there's no, no uh, electrical circuit contact with other metal, so through vibration hopefully it holds up. It feels pretty stable, probably a lot better than before. There is some movement allowed, but it looks pretty good. So um, hopefully uh, you guys find this uh, video useful. Let me know in the comments if, uh, if uh, you need any more help. Take care. Bye.